Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. If you are new, welcome. And if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back for another video. In today's video, we are talking about my top, is it five? My top five palettes from 2019 so far, okay? So if you wanna see which palettes made it to my top five, then definitely stay tuned. All right, you guys, so we've made it through the first half of 2019. Can you believe it? I cannot. Summer's almost over. Like, what's going on? What is going on with time? I feel like winter takes forever, and then summer comes, and it's over like that. Okay? Anyways, I thought it would be great for me to come on here with you guys and share with you um, my top palettes from 2019 so far, from the first half, okay? And so I'm not talking about all palettes that I've tried. I'm talking about palettes that were actually released in 2019 that I picked up when they were released and put to the test on the channel. So definitely hit the i button so you guys can see a dedicated video on any of these palettes all right let's hop into it and it's not in any particular order what i did in this thought process to pick these was if i only picked up these palettes this year would i be happy with my purchases okay so let's hop right into it actually i'm going to go in the order that i've tried them on my channel so the first palette is the nars skin deep palette i really really like this palette very very travel friendly there are a lot of beautiful metallics in this palette that you can use to achieve a full look so you can go very neutral very nice you know every day go to work come home that type of a look for my you know not too intense girls that you know you don't want to be too intense um you can get a nice neutral look with this palette but then you can also judge it up for the nighttime with some of the darker shades in here it's got this nice dark shade here called coconut growth and then we've got all these the bigger shades there can be used for like bronzer even here you can probably use that for like a highlight shade under the eye area um but yeah those, those bigger pants can double for face powders and then these all perform nicely these metallics down here so um, I really really like this palette and I'm happy that I picked it up I picked it up like immediately when it first came out and very very happy that I did and then the next palette I'm going to share with you guys is the ColourPop It's My Pleasure palette I really really like this one it's very bright very purple okay um, and it's one of this is my first of their monochromatic palettes uh, that I tried and I'm very happy with it all the shades blend out nicely and then it's got some really fun colors in here the these bright um, shades like that one this one is very beautiful nice 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 shade there I just like the shift in that shade there very pretty um, it looks purple but then it's got some blue toned reflex in there and so it really makes it a nice shifty shade and then the shade sandman i think this was one of my favorites in this palette very pretty so it's got like a taupe type of kind of tone to it just looking at it in the pan but then the swatch has some nice shifting glitters in there as well right here so that one I feel like can even be used on an everyday type of basis because it's not super purple. It's got a duochrome type of feel to it. And then the other shades are very nice and pigmented, show up very nicely on the lid. And definitely check out the, um, I think it was a makeup playtime that I did with this. Definitely click that link and check it out. Uh, yeah very very good this is my favorite of the monochromatic palettes that they've come out with so far and then the colored rain safari rain palette i do really like this color rain does some great does a great job with their eyeshadows this is more um on the higher end price range i think this was like 38 dollars but these are some beautiful shades amazon basin oh my gosh very pretty now this is something you can really take to an everyday type of look or you know, um, you know, or taking it, you know, to a more dramatic type of look. Amazon Basin, it looks like it's basically my skin tone with a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's really, really pretty. And then Lioness, oh my gosh, these, these shades are just so 
creamy oh my gosh look at this so creamy this one is called lioness mm, it's just like girl can you guys see that i know i've got some old swatches on my arm from a video that i just did but this is stunning that is lioness and then this one is amazon basin the mattes blend out very nicely as well i don't know if i did swatches in my video this is so pretty look at those mattes in there so pretty wow and then this jungle shade right there and then matriarch those are your two shades that are going to really deepen up that uh, give you that nice dimension, add that depth to your eyeshadow looks. Um, Matriarch is just really, really, you know, that dark brown gives you that full on, um, you know, look for an everyday look with these shades here and even this one for everyday. And then you've got your brighter shades with the oranges and the copper, the orange and the copper, and then the green tones there so I really really like this palette and I think it's well rounded and I would definitely look for a sale for a colored rain um, before you get it so you can get a discount and you can also use like an affiliate code or something like that to get money off of this but they did a great job with this palette the Charlotte Tilbury icon palette surprisingly enough I really really like this palette despite my experience with the pillow talk palette earlier this year this one is really good I think this is a very well-rounded palette once again I I think and I feel like for all of these except for like the ColourPop palette which is all purple you can use this to get a nice daytime look you can use it to get a nice nighttime look with these shades here but you know one I mean it really is like a neutral sh a neutral palette with a pop of blue you know going on here but I do like the different textures in this palette that's what really kind of stands makes this stand out to me is the different textures and tones in the palette and you have a lot of op I mean you have options in here as a brown girl um, this shade here is beautiful in the crease nice transition shade here which can be built up to give you a more subtle type of a crease shade it's not gonna leave your if you only use this in the crease um, it's not going to leave you missing anything like you can build this up to get a little bit more of a darkened effect in the crease as well but then you can use that on a fluffier brush to get a nice transition shade these shades here are very nice topper shades so these topper shades in the first row they're glittery so if you want to be sure that they stay on decently then definitely use a glitter glue but I like the way those look on the crease not on the crease I'm sorry on the lid to you know add some more sparkle to your looks and then these metallics are very pretty they perform nicely on the lid yeah I do like the Charlotte Tilbury icon palette very happy that I picked it up and then finally I have to talk about the Biba palette I know I put the NARS palette in there but I have to talk about this one because there are so many nice tones in this palette like this is a you know a neutral natural well I won't say natural you can get some natural and dramatic looks out of this but a very neutral toned palette for um anybody who wants a neutral tone palette very very good I really do like despite my first impressions on this palette I really do like these like the cream to powder formulas um this one is one of my favorites in the palette and especially with my land low paint pot which has quickly become my main base that I use for my eyeshadow looks it's really really nice even though it's lighter on my skin tone I feel like it adds that nice brightening effect in a matte form on my lids and then this tone shade here that's what it's called oh, no spot sorry spot it builds up nicely it's not that super intense black it gives you that opportunity to build up and that's what all of the cream to powder formulas in the palette do they allow you to build up that color versus going on um, super intense so with all of these those special formulas um, they go on lighter than they may appear in the palette but you can build them up to you know your desired intensity so I do like those the only drawback with those uh, formulas is that they appear to be softer pressed in the pan than the other formulas in this palette so I dropped this palette like I have a what it my um my my palette storage system is basically two uh, plate racks or um, pot like lid racks that you would have on a counter in your kitchen I 
mounted those onto the wall and then my palettes you know they stack up you know so they're going up the wall and this fell from above me it was above me fell down somehow the wall I hit the wall on this side with something I don't know but it knocked the palette off fell to the floor and my pans fell out of this palette and not only did the pans fall out but for these special like cream to powder shades the shade actually fell out of the metal pan so I had to pick the <laughs> pick the pieces up and press them back into the pan so that's the only drawback for this palette for me other another drawback is that it doesn't have a lot of metallics it has three metallic shades in there I think she could have added some more metallic shades in the palette but overall I am very happy with this palette and it's one of my favorites that she has come up with that I've tried I haven't tried everything from her but this is a really good palette really good palette and I find myself pairing a lot of my single shades with this palette to get a more comprehensive look this is a good pairing palette so a good like go-to palette to add uh, depth add transition um, to any of your other palettes that maybe not may not have them so I like it I like it I like it I like it I know it's just a neutral palette and I know that you know it, some people might think it's boring it's not worth the money because it's just another neutral palette but I think the the ease of use with these shades and the blendability the uh, different formulas and things like that I think it makes it you know worth it and especially the amount of products you're getting um, and I know a lot of people will say well it only matters the amount of product you're getting in the pan only matters if you're going to use the palette all the way down if you're going to use all the shades all the way up well you know that is a valid argument um, but if you are going to use it all the way up and you're looking for a neutral palette why not get you know a really good one you know I talked about one two three four and five palettes notice that none of these are really cool toned hmm but I do have a runner up so this is the Kevin Aquan Emphasize Eye Design Palette. Now this is a runner up I'll say. So I guess I would have six in this video. And I am in, I picked this up in the um, Variation Magnify. And it is a small palette, a very small palette, but you get a liquid shadow in here as well. And then this is my cool tone for my top cool tone that I picked up this year. I mean, you know, I like this liquid shadow. It's very pretty. And then I like the tones in this palette. So I picked this one over the Marc Jacobs. And I think I talked about this before in another video. But I picked this because it has um, the three metallics. We've got this one that's really nice and purple toned. Let me see. Do I have a clean finger? Okay, I think so. So this one right smack in the middle is beautiful let me show you guys this one look at that this is just so pretty so it's got a shift to it it's very nice and it has a nice purple glitter in there and so in some lights it looks a little bit gray toned with a subtle purple shift and then in another light it looks pinky purple so it has that nice shift to it and it's got the glitter in there as well so I think it's really a really really pretty shade and then the other metallics in there are very pretty as well um, we've got the silver purple type it's more of a muted I don't even know if you can see that right there a more of a muted type of metallic purple gray shift and then the white one it's like a pearl with a purple shift and then you get this nice liquid shadow in there as well all the shades blend together nicely the only thing I would say is that you know these pans are a little skinny they're skinny and long so a fluffy like a big fluffy brush is not gonna get in there to do what you want it to do but you know just use a smaller brush you know guys it was my birthday this week and I got a new camera oh my gosh but anyways okay so hopefully the footage comes out nicely it looks pretty good in the viewfinder oh my goodness oh my goodness anyways so I remember that I had recorded my top palettes from 2019 so far from like the first half and I forgot one 
How could I forget? How could I forget? How could I forget the Viseart? The Viseart Koi palette is so beautiful. So I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know because I did not want you guys to think that this was not in my top, you know, from 2019. And the thing with this one is I'm kind of sliding it into 2019, but I think it came out like on December 30th or December 31st. This is beautiful. And I know it's all shimmery, you know, metallic shades and stuff like that, but girl it's just a very nice companion palette so in today's look that I'm wearing on my eyes I actually oh it's not is it gonna focus I don't know if it'll if it does that automatically oh it did it ah, okay <laughs> So in today's eye look, I have got the NARS um, Skin Deep palette on. Uh, let me show you. You guys, you guys saw it in the video already, but I've got this palette on here. You know, using these two shades, uh, these two shades here for transition, and then to the deepen out this outer corner, and then this shade, this shade here mainly on the uh, on the lid, and then you know I like to do my pops of color sometimes in a more like not just not on the lid but just like adding a little subtle pop it's, this isn't subtle but you know adding a little pop at the end like close to the outer corner and so I use the Viseart shade here this red shade here this is a beautiful palette guys and it really when I looked at it I was like I do not want that it's pastel metallics who wants pastel bright metallics I, it's just very not, you know, it was very out of my comfort zone, but my really, really great subscriber, Nikki, recommended it to me. She asked me, like, are you going to get it on one of my earlier videos? And I was like, mm, maybe, you know, I didn't want to just flat out say no, but I was like, well, I'm going to look into it or something like that, I said. And I looked at it, I was like, no, I don't want that. And then she messaged me again and said, are you going to get it? And I was like... All right, I'll get it, okay? Somebody's asking for it and stuff. Let me get it. And I really like it. I have two videos on my channel using this palette. One is like a makeup quick minute, and the other is, I think it's like a makeup playtime. But I like this as a companion palette to other palettes. Like if you want a like pop of color, then you can just go to this one and add that nice shiny pop of color. And then a lot of these shades have a shift to them. So they're not just flat out, you know, the shade that you see in the pan. Some of them have a shift. I feel like mo a lot of them have a shift. So I just picked up a couple of these here. Oh my gosh, this camera. Maybe it's just the viewfinder that's really got me like, ah! Okay, anyways. Uh, <laughs> so here's one there. So, um, hope you guys, like that looks like an orange in the palette, but it has a subtle green shift to it. So it's like a peachy green, like duochrome really nice there's a lot of dimension to these shades so I really like this palette a lot and this one looks like a white in the palette like a like a frosty white blue but you can see that it goes on like goes on goes on nice and purple um so it has a shift to it as well and then this is one of the blue like aqua shades I don't know, does this one have a shift to it? I know it's beautiful. Yeah, it does have some purple glitter in there. You can look at it at a certain angle and it looks a little bit, you know, purple. So these are beautiful, beautiful shades and I would highly recommend that Koi palette as well. So my list got kind of long, guys, but I feel like I put together a nice, well-rounded top, you know, seven. <laughs> seven palettes from the first half of 2019 and um you guys definitely let me know what you think and I will let you guys hop to the rest of the original footage oh and please let me know about this quality and stuff because girl I mean just the viewfinder <laughs> I'm just looking at the viewfinder. I haven't seen any footage from this camera yet so I'm just really excited my husband is so freaking awesome like he knows how much I've been spending on this makeup. And he still got me this camera for my birthday. Like, babe, I couldn't believe it. Because we've been looking, all right, and this is a tangent, we've been looking at our finances a little bit more closely for the past couple months. And that makeup, oh, it adds up. <laughs> it adds up. So when he bought this camera for me, I was just like, I felt so, I felt happy about it, but then I felt like kind of bad because it's not a cheap camera, but he bought it for me anyways. 
Wow, cause I, cause I'm thinking like he gonna be like, girl, your budget for your birthday, you done exhausted it in May and June. <laughs> but he got it for me anyway, so I'm just thanking God for it, and uh, I have an awesome husband. All right, anyways, all right, I love you, I love you guys. Let me know uh, what you think about the video. Talk to you soon. All right, so those are the palettes that I would say are my top for 2019 so far. Definitely looking forward to, you know, doing this video again at the end of December. All right, guys, so those are my top six palettes from the first half of 2019 definitely let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below what were your favorite palettes that released in 2019 which palettes could you say if I didn't get that I would feel like I'm missing out on something you know um so yeah definitely let me know and let me know your thoughts on those if you've tried any of them once again five videos will be linked in the eye and then the other one will be in the description box or something like that. But I have a video on my channel for every palette that I talked about in this video. So definitely check those out for more information to get a look and all that stuff. Um, yeah, because I'm not wearing any of those on the eyes today. So, all right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see more content from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I upload videos every single week, all right? I'll be talking to you guys really, really soon, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. See ya.